I'm going to start with my 3D perspective. What I've got right here is a pretty good uh, view of my object with a person for scale. So I'm going to export it as a picture. And I have two ways of doing this. Uh, number one, I can uh, take, a, take a screenshot or screen grab. On my Mac, I use this program called Grab, which comes with the OX, but um, I'm sure that you have your own. Anyway, you know how this works. Capture, selection, and I just choose how I want to frame it, something like this. And boom, I have a, a flat picture of my model showing the 3D perspective, which is exactly what I wanted. So I'll save it onto my desktop. I'm going to make a new folder. I'm going to call it Design SketchUp Model. And I'm going to call this file Perspective. Perspective, yeah. That's one way of doing it. Another way that I can do it is I can try to um, make the framing in my window, in my SketchUp window, like this. And then I'm going to use SketchUp itself to export the file. I go to File, Export as a 2D graphic. And I'm going to save that in the same place uh, that was on desktop. Um, design SketchUp model. I'm going to call it Perspective 2. There we go. Um, let's try to open up my uh, file. Desktops right here. This is the first one that I took with my screen grab. And this is the second one that I took with SketchUp. You'll notice that the SketchUp one is a little bit cleaner, and that's because I'm using SketchUp um, to uh, do the rendering and the exporting for me, uh, rather than just taking a picture of what's on my screen. Um, but anyway, those are two ways in which you can make a flat picture from your SketchUp model. OK, let's move on to the next uh, things that I need, which are the um, flat projections. So let's start with the top view. What I'm going to do is back into SketchUp. I'm going to do a file, sorry, view, da, 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 camera, standard views, top. So that's how it is in the desktop version. In the online version, you might have to look for, search for top view. But basically, you click on that. Oop, you see, I forgot to paint my wall. Uh, my, my, I only painted half of my, um, half of my roof. Let's do that quickly. There we go. That looks nicer. Anyway, so I've got my top view and I'm going to want my, the important dimensions, which are the whole, um, length and the whole width. Let's go for this and this. Let's move it so it's a little bit more centered. So now we have the top view and the main measurements, which are length and width. The third thing we're going to do is flatten it. And the way that we do that is we go back to camera. And now we're going to go to parallel projection instead of perspective. And what that's going to do is it flattens everything. From here, you just make your picture. You just make sure it's uh, framed properly. Uh, I'm going to export it as a 2D graphic again, and I'm going to call this top. OK, now um, let's see. See, it looks a bit funny, but that's because I've gotten rid of that perspective. I'm now using a parallel projection, which doesn't is not very nice for my perspective views, but it's great for my uh, projections. So let's go to camera, standard view, front got this. This looks fine, but now I don't need these measurements, so I'm going to get rid of them. If I can, uh, here we go. Let's take this, get rid of that, this, get rid of that. Uh, camera, standard view, front. And now I'm going to take uh, my measurements again. This might be a good one to have. Uh, this to the bottom 
is a good one to have. Actually, that, that one makes more sense. So I'm going to do, I'm not going to need this one. What I really need is the total height and the total width. I could add some information about uh, possibly the door size if I wanted to. Um, I, there's a lot of things I could add, but I don't want to add too much. I just want to give the main information right now about my object, which is total width, total height, and maybe something else. That's the front view. So again, edit, uh, sorry, what did I say? File, export, 2D graphic front and finally so I'm gonna get rid of these now again because they're just gonna get in the way when I go into a different projection and I'm uh, selecting them and clicking delete to get rid of them in case you're wondering what's the final view that I need uh, something to do with the side so that's gonna be camera standard view left or right doesn't really matter here we go that's one of them uh, they're both the same in, in my model anyway. My model is uh, roughly symmetrical. It's not like I'm making a very complicated sculpture where I need to show both sides. So again, total height, total length. Um, I might include extra information such as the diameter of the windows if I really want to, or uh, if I feel like it's important to know how tall the walls are before the roof. Maybe I can include that as well. Remember to try and keep it neat and try to keep your information uh, relevant, minimal. Show the main things. File, export, 2D graphic, side view. Okay. You'll notice that uh, this information about the top is not written into the picture. So I have to make sure that when I put it into my document, I will write somewhere, maybe just above the image, that it's the top view. Uh, but otherwise, there you go. That's the only thing you need.